Hi guys, uh, hope you all are doing great. Uh, today we are going to see a small video on how to capture a digital implant impression using a scan body. So as uh, the future of implant industry is moving and more digital, this video is going to be very important if for anybody who is going to do this transition. So we are going to see what all steps are there when you are making a digital implant impression. So welcome you all to Dr. Febel Huda's Dental Encyclopedia. So the main component that we require for making this impression is a scan body. The scan body has three parts. You have a scan region, you have a body and then you have a base. Okay. So now we are going to see a small video on which all the steps are captured of how to perform a good digital impression. So here we are going to start off by recording or scanning the opposing quadrant. So since it's a single implant, we're not going to scan the entire arch. We're going to scan only the quadrant. So the maxillary quadrant is being scanned. And then we go ahead to the quadrant onto which the implant has been placed. So we're going to remove the healing cap and we are going to perform the second stage that is scanning the soft tissue contour. So this is one step that is very important. And that's the one step that quite commonly gets missed by many of the doctors because uh, they're not used to this. Okay, so this is very important to capture the soft tissue so that the contours are captured by the software so that when they're fabricating the final crown, it is very, very important. And then you go ahead and you attach the scan bodies. The scan body can come in different materials. It will be either in titanium, like the ones which you're seeing here, or it would be in peak. So whatever scan bodies you have, just follow the instructions that is given to you by the specific implant company. Now, when you're doing the scan with the scan body, you can see that the gray image is there and then it's totally starting to turn color. So it is basically the previous image that we had captured and the image that we are capturing right now getting merged. Okay, so the soft tissue contour which you had recorded onto which now when we started recording the scan body, both these images starts to merge and become a one single image. Now, once this is done, you can go ahead and put back the healing cap and now we have to record the bite. Now, when you ask the patient to bite and when you start to scan, you can see that the both images that you had previously captured starts to lock in. Now, once this happens, the entire process is complete. Now, all you have to do is save this as a file and you can send this over to your lab and the lab will do the need of how a crown can be fabricated. So in the next video we would see how I'm going to make a crown from this uh, STL file that I'm going to send to the lab. Okay so see you all in the next video till then this is Dr. Fable signing off.